Hey guys, Osa here. Welcome back to my channel. So I am driving to work and I had a few thoughts that I just wanted to share with you guys and see if some of you are in the same situation as I am. So, um, you know, the start of 2024, I wrote down some goals that I wanted to achieve for this year, uh, just personal goals. And, um, you know, one of, uh, one of the things that I wrote down was I want to take better care of myself. And this is the whole like point of everything that I'm doing is because I want to really like make sure that I'm, I'm staying on top of my health, you know, make sure that, um, that I'm, you know, taking care of myself. Like I, I just because I'm a mom doesn't mean that I could have to only put everybody else first instead of putting myself first. So I'm learning to become a little bit more selfish. I'm learning to become a little bit more, um, loving towards myself so when I had my knee injury um and I kind of look back at some of my videos and if I'm gonna be all the way honest like I I kind of feel like I had like a mini stroke because I'm looking at like um past videos and one side of my face is not moving the same way that it used to um so when I had my knee surgery I was in a cast for eight weeks and I had to be on heavy blood thinners and um, I was also on you know pain medication and all that but I, I'm, I'm not sure like something's going on with how I'm speaking and um, how my mouth is not moving the same way it used to move um, and I'm gonna go back and watch some of my other videos just to like see like one side of my mouth is like a little bit more droopy and I, I I can't see it I think it's no it's this side so it's not like moving like one, when I talk one side is like going down and I really feel like it was from my surgery I feel like because I was laid up for a lot of months you know and not being able to move around you develop like blood clots and you know um potentially like have a stroke uh so i mean obviously i'm alive thank god and I'm, I'm well but i also noticed some of the changes that kind of happened from that last surgery so um yeah so i'm going to obviously see someone about this maybe i can have some like physical therapy to like get my facial muscles moving the same way that it used to but definitely notice a change with that but anyway I'm a little off topic um, I said that I wanted to just take better care of myself so um, a couple of things that I'm going to do is obviously have my face like looked at by a doctor and just figure out like why things aren't moving the right way I'm then going to have my stomach looked at because um, when I was pregnant um, because I was a former athlete my abdominal muscles were really tight and then when you're pregnant they really stretch so you develop um, a condition that's called um, recti abdomina. It's, 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 I forgot the name of it. Uh, I'll type it in the description box. Anyway, it's very common for uh, women to have this and you need surgery to fix it. Uh, basically, my abs are no longer meeting. Like they're completely stretched out and they, they tore. During the pregnancy process, so I have to have that surgically repaired in order for me to have like my stomach hold everything everything in. Um, like right now, when I walk, if I'm not actively engaging my muscles, my stomach will just kind of like bulge out. It's not gas. It's none of that. It's literally your intestines like pushing through your abdominal walls and sometimes it's very painful because my intestines will get stuck in that area so um, I do need to have that fixed and uh, one of the reasons why I was waiting to have it fixed is because I wanted to have more children so they basically um, you know advise you that if you know you're gonna have more kids just wait until you're done with all your kids and then just have your body um, have that particular surgery for your body and, you know, the start of 2024, I was like, I really need to just give up on this dream that I'm going to eventually, like, have a husband and have more kids. 
and um so yeah so for 2024 that's when I was like okay you know it's time I really want to put the IUD in I want to um uh look into having this stomach surgery this abdominal surgery uh just so I can repair that and then when I'm ready to start working out again once my leg is better I can then um you know do my sit-ups do I, I basically know all the things that I need to do to get in in the best shape of my life so um so yeah so 2024 the start of 2024 really allowed me to write down some of those personal goals that I wanted to you know achieve you know in half of myself and then another thing that I wrote down was um like self-care like so this is why I'm kind of taking my hair to the extreme I'm taking my you know doing my nails um every month um because I really want to focus on myself I really want to Yes, I'm a mom, but I'm also a person and I need to make sure that I'm putting myself first so that if all my needs are met, I can then meet the needs of my child. And um, I'm just so grateful to be in a space and have this type of clarity because um, I didn't have that, you know, several years ago. I kind of felt like I was really like in the trenches of like just trying to like figure life out as a single mother. And you know, now that I really feel like, okay, you know, he's older, he's much more independent, um, he's a wonderful child, you know, like all these things, he's always been a wonderful child, but I get to see his true, like, personality, and I get to see um, all of his growth, and I'm so grateful for it. So, um, you know, all of these things have really, like, put my nerves at ease, and I'm just so grateful that I, you know, I'm in position to take care of myself. So part of my journey is to make sure that I'm, that I am well taken care of, that I am good emotionally, I'm good physically, and I'm, I'm good as far as, um, you know, health wise goes. So, um, yeah, so these are all the things that I want to, um, pay attention to you know, as the year goes on, we're already, we're in May, and I can't believe it, this is, you know, five months into the year, and I can't wait to see, like, what December looks like, you know, what I'm talking about in December, so if you are a new mom, if you are a single mom, I encourage you to take care of yourself, um, it's very hard to do in the beginning when you first have a child, but all those things matter, um, you know, if you are good, uh, then you, you're better able to, um, you know, take better care of your child. So, uh, you know, please keep that in mind, but just remain encouraged. Um, I look forward to seeing your comments and chatting with you guys down below. Uh, have a wonderful day. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.